What's up YouTube, Joyce here. Um, today we will make some 3D looks like this. It's really easy to make it. So if you want to have file exactly like this, you can join to be my patron, link on description. Or you can visit patreon.com slash studio underscore Georgia. And also you can visit uh, gumroad.com. Alright, so now let's go move into the tutorial video. Alright guys, so first of all that I want to do is just um, delete all of this. And now let's get at some circle. Click tab, click E on your keyboard and then after that just scale by clicking S and just grab it inside like this. And after that just click F for fixing this hole. So now let's go into the um, add selection mode and after that just add more loop cuts, Control R. And let's get just scroll it like that. You can uh you can scroll uh, sorry you can scroll wherever a lot you want. But here we are. That's what I have now. And don't forget to uh block all of these, choose all of these like that. So now let's go into add modifier. Let's get add some a uh, subdivision surface for levels view. I will using like two, and then for the solid divide, I will using um. 0, 0, 4, uh, sorry, 0 0.02 0 will be looks like this and now let's get add some a simple deform click tab move it, this object into the right side so we'll be changing like this if you see it that's cool so we can duplicate this simple deform by clicking shift d and here we are for the angle i will using like 145 minus 145 and here for the strain just will be like this and for the axis we will using y so will be looks like this so after that just do some set of smooth will be looks a little bit smooth like this all right first of all that you have to do is just add some plan axis and also empty sphere by clicking shift a go down into the empty plan axis both are empty but first of all this is will be plan axis right and this one will be um empty sphere all right don't forget to save your file go into the add modifier we will add some array by clicking add modifier here deactive for relative offset activate for object offset go into the object and then plan axis if you are ready to this let's get um Let's get uh, move it this uh, plan axis. Oh, sorry, plan axis. All right, so it will be looks like that. This is looks cool, and but I'm gonna try to take it very close this object into the um, the first object, something like that. All right, that's cool. All right, so now let's go into the add modifier again. I will uh, counting this one into like maybe uh, 50. All right, 50 was okay, was cool. Nothing uh, nothing bad here. So now let's get add some a uh, UV sphere. And here for UV, I will using like just 15 to 50. Will be looks like that and set it smooth. All right, so now I'm gonna try to grab this uh, object into that side a little bit more bigger so it will be looks like this and after that see, hey, I'm gonna add some torus and for the torus I will just using like 16 to 60 try to uh, grab it more um, small like maybe 0 0.03 and for this try make it more uh, wide like this all right so now we can um, rotate this object this torus into this side will be looks like that we will um, rotate this one into the front like this so we can see zip a let's get at some a camera control alt zero go into this camera icon focal line I will using like one four hundred four I uh, sorry one hundred and forty will be looks like that and click into this view and this camera here just try to grab it back here all right so now let's get at some a plan 
scale by clicking scale by clicking uh, 9 take it, uh, grab it down we can uh, make it a little bit bigger duplicate by clicking Alt D RX 90 for um, rotation this object alright I will duplicate this one also and after that just rotate by clicking R Y 90 and then G and grab it X will be looks like that all right now we have some object but this is on EV and I want to using cycles here I have some GPU and just using 10 all right so here I will um, try to duplicate this one by clicking alt D we need uh, more some window area so we can see here that we want to add more I want to put here all right, and now so we can duplicate, duplicate it here. Try to put in the up here. All right, and I want to make it a little bit small, more small, and here. All right, so we can duplicate also here. A window and here we are we will add some Adobe Hex color go to image editor um, first of all I'm gonna choose this one Control A and scale add this new but here I will just using like a simple color into this uh, sorry simple uh, material here I will use a uh, more metallic and bring down the roughness all right and after that zip A let's get add some color ramp Put this uh, color ramp here, connect into the best color, and after that, zip A, add some gradient, put the gradient in this side, fact into the fact, control T, and if you see here, we will using object into the vector, so it will be looks like that, and now we can do also a little bit editing, we can try the playing here. Alright, so guys, first of all, I'm gonna use uh, this blue color, and this one will be using some like thin color, like this. And also, by the way, you can like edit this object by clicking Ctrl A using like um, rotation, will be looks like this, but we don't want to using something like this, so we will keep it like that. And here we are, we have uh, some color that we want it, and I wanna try. To do it like this and also we can do editing more in this z uh z side so but i want to put like that not really too much here so we can see from this uh from this side this is looks cool i i like it and now let's go into add this uh, color this material i will using the same color and also this one it looks like that don't forget to save your file and here we are we will um using some color first of all i want to add some material here and i want to using like um this one but i'm gonna try to take it down a little bit like this all right and after that let's get uh, some uh, light I will using some area just grab it up here make it more uh wide maybe here we will uh we will be uh, using like five thousand uh five thousand but will be looks like that let's get try ten thousand how it was yep looks cool and we will using uh some ellipse i will duplicate this one i will uh rotate this lamp to this object so it will be looks like that it looks like that all right so now i'm gonna duplicate again and here for the spread i will try to take it like a little bit like this all right and also for the background i'm gonna try to take it down make it a little bit dark we can using also this color but will be so bright 
and we can try to put here down like this like this all right so by the way um tutorial for today it's done it's really easy to make it something like this this is a kind of some abstract art and try it in um in blender also all right so guys if you want to have file exactly like this you can join to be my patron link on description for sure and also you can uh, visit my camerod link on description and by the way thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe georgia is here see you in the next video